Hey guys, Cool Blonde Wave back. I'm Aaron. I'm Calvin. I'm Rick. And this is a. Where previously. Man, we're back to almost square one where Barry's a suspect and. Yep. Load <laughs> people figured out who the thumb is. Thumb, there's te teeth and. Teeth and DNA Facebook. and. Facebook and. Mm -hmm. Fucking Facebook. Mm -hmm. That's why I don't like it. Tell me you have a Facebook. Sally and Barry I don't like it. together again, but she's <laughs> kind of self-absorbed. Have you ever tried to delete a Facebook account? I did. I did delete it. It's so difficult. He like counts like fucking meat. So I don't like it. Hey, Kevin, I watch you eat a hamburger. I don't like it. <laughs> like, it was just. No, was just I made Facebook in 2009, back before <coughs> I cared about shit. When it was the Facebook? Yeah. Well. Barry made a Facebook, and now it might be what has gotten him caught. Uh, possibly. Sally made it, didn't she? She's like, who are your friends? She did. Sure. It's all her fault. Sure. It, it is all her fault. I mean, But it's Barry's fault for associating with her and continuing to associate with her. This, this, It's a pipe dream. Barry did save Gene into staying in the one place he instead did. of leaving because he was going to quit. So there was that as well. And uh, Barry is working <coughs> with the, I want to call them the Bolivians. That's Chechen. not it. The Chechens. He's being forced to because Noho Hank is serious. And they're also blaming uh, the Burmese crime family yes. for the things that happened to Goran and whatnot. And most importantly, we saw Hank in a wig. So Burmese come to America pretending to be persecuted Buddhist monks. They ask government for the religious asylum, then live here in temple until they're clear from immigration. What? Then they join Burmese mafia. It's actually kind of a genius plan. No, it's not genius. She is Pretty not good. genius. Okay? It's an yeah. okay plan. It's fine. And I guarantee you Religious she's not sanctuary. come up with it. You shook her and her crazy watermelon-sized head with this. You want me to get the bullet out of her head? Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Well, I don't know how I do that. That's not how bullets work. Okay. Um, dummies version. What if you shook her with a thick book behind her? It'll go through her head, get stuck in the book, you open up book, take out no, bullet, simple. No, it's not it's so bad. simple. Regardless, everyone has to know this is job done by Kang. So come on, take it. Wouldn't that be bad? What happens when Cristobal knows? Why evil? Oh my god. I mean, absolutely. Do I not tell you that enough? You are like the most evil guy I know, man. You know, I take no pleasure in, in killing people. You know that, right? Man, all this talking is making me hungry. You know what I could really go for? What? Submarine sandwich. Yoshinoya people. Oh. This looks so green. Is that him? Hey, lunch. Ooh, look at that. No, that's her. Is that your boyfriend? ex? Oh, that's. Okay, got Who's it. Who's that guy? Oh, that's the new guy. Yeah. This He's girl. cute. It must be it's weird, woman. though. You kind of want them to end up with, like, a dog, right? Hey, what did I tell you about coming into my office? Knock, knock. <laughs> I'm ready to go on that trip. All cool. packed. What trip? Uh, to Cleveland to go interview the Fugues guy. You're not going to Cleveland. What? This is personal to me, and you have to respect that, all right? I'm doing this alone. Is that all you're taking, though? Would your wife take all the luggage? <laughs> Jeez, lady! <laughs> Shut the fuck up! <laughs> I love that. I what love is that. tactless? You told your story with such vulnerability, such honesty. He lied. Look, I know it is hard to see yourselves reflected in the exercises. You didn't correct. What if we wrote our own pieces using moments from our own lives that help shape and define us? Yeah. Now, Barry. You're going to tell that story from Afghanistan. The rest of you, you're going to find your sheepfucker moments. And then we'll take them all, we will mold them into a show that we will do for a paying audience and the occasional VIP comp. Are you with me? <laughs> well, let's get to it. <laughs> Seems recovered. Me, where are you going? You haven't gone yet. Uh, yeah, shit, sorry. Can I go next class? It's just, I have a meeting to go to at Gersh. You know what, to the rest of you, to take a, a loose 15. Mr. Kusno, um, I don't really have to tell the story I told yesterday in front of uh, an audience, do I? Of course not. 
Oh, good. Thank you. Yeah, no, that version is just the beginning. Shit. See, Let's... during rehearsal, and this is just my instinct, you're gonna find more complicated and fucked up details. See, I want to do the story about meeting you. Go on. <laughs> yeah, you know, being in this class and, and uh, seeing you teach and... Uh... So you want to tell the story of meeting me? Yeah. I'll allow it. <laughs> right. That's great. There must be something I can do to help. There is. Let me handle this. So Norse men have surrounded our ship. How are we going to get home, Dad? We'll just have to make a run for it. Make a run for it? If we do that, we're dead. Thanks, babe. I think I know that guy. I do, too. I can't pinpoint it. You hate it. I just, like... Uh, you seen it all like, cut together like that, back to back. Look, like these that. parts are not the best representation of your talent. I just, I feel like I have more to bring to the table than breakfast. Breakfast? Before Jennifer Lawrence became J-Law, she was the daughter on the Bill Engvall sitcom. Okay? Hey. <laughs> Good parts come with time, but you really? gotta hang in there. I know it's so frustrating. Right. It's the way this industry works. Never watched it, so. Okay? Okay. Well, so yeah, you guys start yeah. saying no. Thank you, Missy. Look where Nick Cage is, Calvin. You don't need to say no to shit. Or Samuel Jackson. He takes every fucking Because for Lee. Commercials, movies, t whatever. <laughs> Good, the bad. So, Mr. Fuchs, I have your tooth at the scene of a quadruple homicide. How did that happen? I woke up, and it was gone. No idea where it went. You have no idea where it went. No idea. I was gonna call the cops. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm not gonna lie to you. I was with uh, a lady. <laughs> Who knows what these foreign prostitutes do? I mean, she might have taken it as some sort of trophy or something, you know, like a, an ivory tusk or a rhino horn. Maybe, maybe she wanted to grind it up, use it as a potion. I don't know what goes on with them. Uh, she might have taken it with her on her route uh -huh. and left it there. I don't think they have routes. <laughs> well, I mean, suit yourself, but okay. I'm a cop. I want to look at all the possibilities. Hey, do you know this guy? <laughs> i never seen him before in my life. Hmm. Mm hmm So you, you definitely, you definitely didn't see him kill Pazar. I don't know this dipshit, and I don't give a fuck about Bizarre. Yeah. I care about who killed my partner, Detective Janice Moss. And I think this guy might have had something to do with it. And if I find out that you're even slightly involved with this fucking guy, like in any way, shape, or form, you're going to prison. You got me? Kusuno Organics. Topanga! Hi, California. Leo. Hi. Oh, what a lovely coincidence. Life is so short. A father should have a relationship with his son. Look, you want to leave them wanting more, not less. <laughs> and then there was my work, my students, Ugh. fucking students. Okay. I don't care about your students, and neither do you. That whole theater is just a big shrine to you. Even this is about you. <laughs> we don't have a relationship, Dad. And I'm fine with that. I really am. No reason to force this. Get it? I mean, he didn't come back being like, hey, look, I want to say I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Barry, you're going to do the story from Afghanistan. He doesn't what? want it to be about Just him. Just be your yeah. real self. Afghanistan. I don't think he liked your performance. He's not wrong. 
I don't like it either. Okay, you want me to say that I was married and he was abusive and I stayed in it for years anyway. Is that what you want? That's what you wanted to hear. I left, okay? I, 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 I moved to LA to live for me and now I, I stand up for myself and, and I don't apologize. And, and I am with someone who respects and accepts me for who I am, okay? And I will never, ever be with a violent man again. Uh, violent towards you? <laughs> Is there any specifics we need in there? He's literally a bad man here. She is a crime boss, you know? <laughs> That's the yeah. thing, like, yes, he is certainly bad. You should not do this. Oh! oh that's the worst door you could have picked. Yeah. Get in on that fuseball. What? What happens now? I don't know if you have much choice here, Barry. see me and I don't want to see you I get it Did you kill a fucking cop you go to jail you, 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 you don't ambush me like this no you don't ambush me like this you gotta go to fucking jail I don't care. it's not about you it's fuck about off. fucking me man fuck off oh. I can get him just give me another shot oh yeah man It didn't make any sense how Fuchs knew where he was. Yeah. Barry picked up on that real quick. Um, yeah, I'm not sure if he realized he was working for the cops, but... It was... Maybe was he suspicious. did. Suspicious. It was... <sighs> man. Fucking I, Fuchs, The last man. time we saw it, too, I thought like we left where he's like... If I find out you're involved with this, I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna come back for you. And I thought Fuchs would be like, well, I've, I've cut ties with them. They've all had my tooth. They got nothing else. Yeah. You know, like, leave it be. And then he showed up here, working with them. He probably was like, yeah, da 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 da. I mean, leniency for. He's too scared. Well, either he wanted to get back at Barry, he didn't trust Barry to not get caught. Maybe. I mean, Barry just screwed up here with the Burmese family. Big time. Ugh. <laughs> Might be his biggest mistake let yet. Maybe. If he had just followed through. Now he's got Burmese family coming after him and the Chechens. Yeah, Hank's going to come after him. Depends if they can, I mean, if the Burmese can figure out who he is. The thing is, like, if they figure out who he is and it gets back to Hank, like, the Hank thing's going to be in trouble, right? If they just start, like, they don't have pictures of him, but if they can figure out who he is somehow. Yeah. Yeah. It just depends on, like, if everyone's like, remembers his face or if they can get him. ID on him somehow, I guess, but because Hank said like if like was that car registered to him? Maybe he just left that car there. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. I mean, it would be wise not to take your car to sure a hit. Yeah. <laughs> you know, but he also probably left a, a decent amount of physical evidence. Well, because whatever happened last time when he did the hit, right? Uh, he was gonna kill Ryan back in season one. Yeah. Whenever things went south. He left his car, he tore apart the gun, yeah. tossed the gun to the side, mm -hmm. left, and they couldn't trace any of that back to him sure. then. So, maybe he's doing the same methods, nothing in that car is going to be traced back to him, yeah. and there's also no 
camera. There didn't seem to be any <laughs> surveillance in that place. Yeah. But there was a lot of eyewitnesses. Yeah. They're not going to call the cops. No. Right? Like, there's no way they're going to be like, hey, this guy came in. Yeah. And what are they going to do about the car, though? That's that's where the, the physical evidence is going to be. It's going to be his blood, his fingerprints. Well, I figured they're going to take the car and, like, you think they are? get rid of it. I don't think they want any weird activity possibly taken back to them. Because they're all incognito. Sure, you don't want to link the anything to them. So, yeah. I would imagine, like, we take care of this, hide this. Get that mafia to take care of it so that the police don't come asking questions. But maybe not. Maybe they don't. Maybe it comes up to being something else. But I mean, it's it's the nature of them being a monastery that hides them from suspicion. Maybe they just let the cops take it and it's like, oh, what's this car doing here? Oh, it's probably gang activity or something. You know, they don't link it back to the. I wonder what monastery. Fuchs told them. Like, does he know, like, do the cops know that Fuchs was getting jobs, like assassin jobs for Barry? I don't like, how involved do they know he is? I, I mean, wonder. Because you think his testimony would might be enough to put him away for, maybe not the murder of the cop, which is, I guess is what he wants, right? Sure. Like, there's no information on the murder of the cops. There's just going to be maybe Goran, which he saw him do, but they don't have any evidence of Janice. Yeah. And if this is an untrustworthy source maybe testifying against Barry, maybe it's not trustworthy enough. Especially yeah. if you can have, like, well, can you... Like, you get someone to, like, do more character type of things. Like cross-examination. And you bring out, like, the people from the play and stuff like that. They might say, like, oh, look, he did this, he did this, he's been good. Like, they might have a different character side of it than this other guy who's like, what do they know about Fuchs? You know? That he, he has a... He was just got out of jail for being at a crime where... There was a guy who was uh, killed people, tried to rob, like, you know what I mean? Like, there's that <laughs> on Fuchs right now yeah. versus an ex-soldier who's trying to become a military guy uh, or uh, an actor, you know, with, like, there might be some character things where, like, Fuchs isn't enough sure. to just have the testimony and that's it. They need evidence of Barry, which him saying it would be pretty good evidence, admitting to it. Yeah, on camera, sure. But... With it just being, maybe if you had like Gene who found out, or you know some other people like that, where you have some corroboration of good testimony versus Fuchs, who's like, well, he was in jail. Who knows what he? You know, maybe he's not a trustworthy source. Yeah, maybe he just wanted to get out of it by telling the cops any story that he can sure. come up with. Yeah, he just doesn't want to. Maybe he killed them all, you know, and he doesn't yeah. want to be because they already you've already linked him to one assassination uh, a thing. Yeah. Quintuple or whatever. Well, yeah, Quadruple but you have him there, but I mean, like, they arrested him at the, the other one. Sure. That's why he, he just got out of jail before having that. So there's that and his tooth at this crime scene. Like, you're linked to that where Barry's not necessarily linked to either. They just have, like, circumstantial evidence of, like, well, that kind of looks like him. And Finding the money at the actor studio. The money was there, but they've already linked that to Ryan and Taylor and stuff, too. So it's like, well, where's it all? Yeah. So I don't know. <sighs> um, more Gene things going on though. Uh, like the Barry thing being like, I don't want to do the Afghanistan stuff. I want to do the Gene. Mm -hmm. But Gene, I definitely agree. We like, we met the son, and the son being like, this is just a thing for you. The, yeah. Like the theater. It's a shrine. It's, for it's all just you yeah. To Gene, be worshipped. And yeah. everything on the walls is like posters of him from Peter Pan and Rent and whatever and. Like, the reasoning of him going through being like, you know what, you're going to do the Afghanistan story, I don't want the Gene story. Like, at least to me, it makes more sense that this is... It makes sense from his side of things. Yeah. It's yeah. like hitting him from, like, Janice's, you know, death. Like, he feels sad. And even if he had good intentions to go into the sun without having the apology, and there's already, you know... A lot of tension. Tension and bitter feelings and whatever else involved and what the sun says there, of like, that's just your shrine. I mean, it's so terrible, but I love Gene's line of, you leave them wanting more, not less. <laughs> sure. That was... But that means you need to be reoccurring, right? Like, there needs to be the thing of, like... Uh, you gotta have an encore. <laughs> like, there's... The, the trope is, like, that fun uncle, right? Yeah. The fun uncle comes in, you have some fun stuff, and then you leave, and then, like, they want more of it. And then the dad is, like, he's not the fun dad because he's just always there but then the uncle comes back again like yeah. the uncle just left never showed up well, the there'd be resentment of him just never showing up again you know? yeah the uncle's not responsible for discipline or sure. like yeah. anything else it's because the uncle gets all of the good things compressed into such a short span of time 
that you don't get those long, boring times in between that the dad has. Mm. Yep. So, yeah. But, yeah, the one, leave him wanting more. That works for acting and stages, but not necessarily for kids. No. Not so much. It was also seemed to be a accidental, maybe it was a, like, not from a marriage or anything like that. It was... So yeah, there, I don't know. It didn't seem like there was a though woman. He, sure. Though he, I mean, he does have the father's name. Lots yeah. of times when there's no mm-hmm. marriage and stuff involved, lots of times it takes the, the mother's name instead, but it did take the, it did have the father's yeah, name. Yeah, he opened up an organic. There's a Cousineau. Uh, Cousineau whatever. Farms. Yeah. Cousineau like Organic Produce so, and Farm. Yeah. He must be using that last name. So yeah. maybe they were married. I don't know. Well, it's hard to tell. You could still be married with an accidental baby. Sure. So. Yeah. We got a bunch of backstories on the minor players in the the acting sure. studio. Kind of yeah. a little bit of a background history of each one, or several. We call of them that anyway. history. <laughs> a little bit, right? Yeah, so, get these bodies out of here, fucking serial killer. <laughs> I love that. Like I'm just imagining, like, uh, like I imagine it's something that we would do if, like, we were each talking about like our darkest moments, and one of us is telling the story, but the other three have to act it out. I could see that happening, and like, like. I don't know, fucking Calvin's telling his darkest history or whatever, and like, we're just like, get these bodies out of here. And Calvin's like, there weren't bodies there! Not yet! You know? (laughs) Whatever it's gonna be! (laughs) Whatever it is. (laughs) So, like, there's a little bit of humor in there, too. But yeah, no, there was uh, parents' divorce, there was. Smothering twin brother in the room, in the womb. Yeah, I guess Natalie, like, and that's happened before, too, where like, she was part of a twin thing, and the other one didn't make it, you know? So. Yeah. Um,. Yeah, Antonio had a dog bite his Achilles heel, couldn't play See, soccer anymore. I wonder how much of them are exactly true. Like, the womb one could be true. Uh, the divorce kid thing, probably true. Yeah. Uh, Antonio playing soccer, like professional soccer and stuff. I'm like, is that true or is that being far fetched? Like, are they each trying to, like, one up the other one? <laughs> well, that's what Sally said, right? Like, they're having competitive grief. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like who has the worst grief moment? But are they all true? Yeah. Like, was Antonio going to be a professional soccer player? And then because he dropped some damn taco sauce on his ankle, a dog ate it, <laughs> broke his Achilles, and I'm like, it's, what? It's all different than Barry's, because like Barry wasn't really directing his. No, he like, was. Just, they were all just taking it on themselves yeah. to, to yeah. add to it. Whereas yeah. I think the rest of them were all like directed maybe by the person. Sure. And also, uh, Barry's story wasn't true, you no. know? Like, he told it, and then they took over. Well, yeah. Like, what he said was true, but they twisted it. They, yeah. They took a wrong turn. Yeah. And they kept driving down that road. Once he got he to the, the right direction. Once he got to the trigger part and yeah. killing and stuff like that, they were like, oh, God, what have I done? Meanwhile, he's just like, they're all like, yes. yeah. 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 <laughs> Barry, Barry. Mighty Duck style at the end. They're all putting. Putting on the shoulders and yeah. stuff and hoisting them up. Dude, this LAPD officer this time Loach. has been doing some fucking work. Yeah. yeah, he has. As opposed to last season. Like, if he'd well, have been doing this during last season. Yeah, he was drowning <laughs> in grief last season. Now he has, like, a purpose. I guess. Yeah. Like, he's still, like, fucking... He's still life. fucking drowning in grief. Oh, <laughs> Looking at the Facebook photos of his but, ex-wife and new boyfriend. See, I think what he had... I think yeah. what he, had, he didn't have before is Janice wasn't pestering him. Now he's got this new partner lady who just is, like, saying the wrong shit all the damn time. He's like, I'm going to fucking go work because I can't stand being here. I can't be here. Wallowing in my grief. It's too, it's, it's, it's terrible. <laughs> Everything she says is the worst thing she could Your say. wife take all the luggage? <laughs> Jeez, is that all you're taking? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> it's like, if she were a much, much, much better friend, it might be too much. <laughs> But she is, she is a nobody, and she's just saying these terrible things. Yeah, like you, you, if you're a good enough friend, like you can make someone feel better by like shitting on them. Yeah, you sure. Know? But she's not that, and is not doing it right. No. No. Gosh. Not at all. Ah. <sighs> 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 Fucking Fuchs. Fuchs, man. Like, like the they may that. not even have anything on him. He's just agreeing to work with them so that anything that they might find out about him, he's... I, I mean, I, he, he's, he's, like probably, he's probably dealt for immunity, and he also, <laughs> I think, maybe wants to get back to Barry. Get, get back I, at Barry. I wonder if, like, is Fuchs going to push this more? Is he going to hint at anything, or is he just going to go for him, and then Barry's going to have to kill him? And if he does have to kill him, is it going to be caught... 
where he's going to be on the run or will he be able to kill him without yeah. like, the LAPD knowing? He's got a lot of other problems right now. Well, honey, yeah, are, I know. more pressing. But he doesn't want... The thing that sucks is like he's stuck in the middle of this now and he does, he's like, I don't want to be evil. Yeah. He's asking... He asks, the thing with Hank, they're like, am I evil? He's like, oh... Yeah, Barry, you are, you know. Just, yeah, man, you're, you're, like, you're, you're like the you're best evil. motherfucker around. Do, do but, I not tell you enough? Do I not tell you enough? <laughs> like, I just, uh, like, I, I, I feel bad for Barry. Yeah. Because, like, I don't, I don't know if it's like, you know, he was in the military, and he, he, you know, he grew up with this, right? Like, he was built up by the military to be like a killing machine kind of thing and whatever. And then he gets out of it, and he doesn't know what to do. And then Fuchs takes this man who's been built to be this, and then puts him on this path. Repurposes well, him. And, and like, he doesn't want to do things evil. And, and he's brainwashing him of, like, you know, you, uh, these are all bad guys that you're killing. Sure. Yeah. Like, you know, you're doing a service. And yeah. Making somebody. I, I did wonder, but like, there was a, a micro-expression that Fuchs had when Loach told him, like, I believe he's responsible for the murder of my partner or whatever. Like, Fuchs, like, he, his expression changed a little bit. And I wonder if, like... If that was like a line that crossed him, you know. I don't know. Maybe I just thought like he knew that this cop was serious and was gonna do whatever yeah. it took. I think similar to what we talked about before, like most people in the show don't care about anyone but themselves. Gene obviously has been one like that, Sally. where like maybe now he's jumping out of that a little bit. Sally especially, where like her burden is that she's getting jobs, yeah. just know? not the jobs that she wants. Yeah, she's just not there yet. Uh, it's, Fuchs has been the same way. Fuchs has cared about himself, and he only cared about Barry being dead when he thought things were going haywire, and now what's that mean for him? Yeah. He didn't necessarily care beforehand, so... Uh, shit, I don't have a meal ticket anymore. What do I do? Yeah, so... I don't know. I just... There's an element of me that, like... I definitely understand, like, damn, Barry's just... He's done some terrible things, and he's a bad guy, killing these people and whatnot, but also there's an element where I'm like, I, I want him to be able to get out of this and not... Not do this anymore. It's 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 like Dexter and it's so Walter re- White. It's kinda. reverse Walter White, sure. right? Yeah. Like Walter White, you're seeing the transition up yeah. usually. Whereas this one, like I've seen him at like, damn, he just he's good at killing people. But I want to, I want he, I'm wanting to see him get out of this and not be the bad guy that he's like painted into being. You know, like he didn't do the assassin uh, assassination on Esther here. Yeah, he stopped and then tried to leave and then. But because he didn't, he's probably going to have to kill a lot more people yeah. to survive. Yeah, yeah, it's true. Uh, because of what happened with uh, not killing Ryan, things snowballed into a point where like he ended up killing Janice, yeah. and now he everything's just screwed up. Mm. Like maybe he could have killed Ryan, and then still done the acting thing, and just no one would have been any wiser. Well, he killed anything. that other guy for the Chechens as well as part of like. A, like a repayment for not having well, killed Ryan. Exactly, because he didn't kill Ryan. If yeah. he'd have killed Ryan, so many things may have been different. But because he didn't, and because he didn't kill Esther, what's that mean now going forward? Which, I don't know. I mean, he really should have made that choice before he went out the door. But yeah, now he's fucked. Yeah, fucked. Fucked. Guys, if you want to see more Barry like we do, make sure you guys check out patreoncom slash. Uh, Blind Wave down in the description below. You can find the next four episodes there. Uh, and we also have twitch.tv slash Blind Wave where you can watch live streams that we have Monday through Saturday, including our uh, our ranking that we did uh, recently. So all that stuff happens live over twitch.tv slash Blind Wave. So join there, follow so you don't miss out on that. And subscribe here for more, more Blind Wave.